top of the hour. Give you the guys enough time to get those bets in for the primetime game, because that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's over like free sports picks for the games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and later to deliver those winners. Our professional handicappers over at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Play. So let's take a peek at who's on the show with us for today. All right, this is Rod Zubaki with us, James Clark, Tony Brown, and Shane Mickle. Here's how they'll line up for this evening. Uh, we, Sasha's not here today, so we have some fill-ins here. Clark in, Brown, Mickle, Scott, Scott's out. A lot of, lot of people on the uh, flu. <laughs> so we got Zubaki, and I will close this one out. All right, uh, guys, uh, we've got tonight here. NBA, four good games on the board from the NBA tonight. We got uh, 12 on the NHL. We got a handful as well. Four. Uh, we've got the NIT quarterfinals, CBI semifinals as well up on the board tonight. So uh, got something to bet on. Of course, uh, then we moving on here to baseball just a couple days away. But let's go ahead and let's get the drive through started. We're going to start here with James Clark, one of the featured games on the board tonight from the NBA. We'll bring him in right now. Catch him over at Pick Dog Stream. Having a great year this year. You've heard that before over the years with James Clark. So let's get him in right now. Ready to roll here with James Clark to start the drive through for today. James, what's happening? How much, Tony? How are you today, buddy? I'm doing really good. All right. Uh, we'll get the right game up there for you tonight because I know you're going to be looking at this uh, game tonight here between the Warriors and the uh, Miami Heat. Of course, the Warriors are trying trying to get their act together where they've had, <laughs> they've had some stumbles here. Cleveland has been on the Cleveland has been on their on their neck here, and uh, they've they've got to get it together here. Of course, the Heat are trying to avoid that playing round. So a lot at stake here in this game. We see the Warriors now have ballooned up to a five point favorite total two seventeen. Yeah, guys, you know you look at uh, these two teams. You know they, uh, they you know they both teams have really uh, been struggling. You know down the stretch here. You thought uh, at the beginning of the season, you know these two teams would be definitely a uh, playoff. Uh, bound, but you know, it looks like right now, uh, both these teams may be in the, uh, in the play in playoffs. Uh, if they even, you know, if we get that far, you know, the Houston's coming up, uh, uh, Rockets is, uh, coming uh, up on the Warriors, and uh, you know, the Heat, you know, uh, if they don't step it up, you know, they're going to be the same thing in the same boat. You know, uh, uh, you win, you go in the playoffs, you lose, you go home. I mean, uh, you know how that is. But I'm looking at this game right here, guys. I'm looking at it, uh, you know, a different way. I'm looking at the total, guys. You know, the heat, what they bring to the table defensive-wise. You know, Curry's going to get his points, but as long as they held every, held, uh, everybody else down, you know, uh, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. You know, uh, you know, Tyler Hero, you know, is uh, one of the big weapons for uh, the heat. And, uh, you know, you send me a – Last week I was on the uh, uh, under for the heat, the hit, and I'm back out on the under here at 217. I know uh, Butler's playing and the band's playing, but you know there's uh, a half court uh, offense. They you know set, uh, uh, set up, you know make the right pass, you know underneath. Uh, you got when you got a hero out there, they're more a little a bit run the more, you know get a little bit uh, a fast break points, uh, more three pointers, and uh, you know what Curry's going to do, you know. If him and Clay can get hot at uh, any time, you know, they put put up a lot of points. But with this Heat's uh, defense, I think they hold them down, guys. You know, I see about one uh, or about 210. You know, both teams uh, climbing right into the hundreds. And uh, uh, I like the under here, 217. All right, uh, we've got James Harker who says under 217. Uh, that's now the case, 217. There's 216s and a half because we do have some – breaking here uh, in this game because now it has been announced that uh, Jimmy Butler uh, will be out of this game. So a Butler out, uh, that uh, creates an issue there here for Miami. Still question marks here on um, on uh, Jaquez. The qu the issue here with uh, Butler is he's is an illness that will keep him away from this game. Uh, so that's a big mm -hmm. miss there. Jaquez dealing with that knee has not been cleared for action. So that's a 21-point-per-game that's a score out here for uh, Miami. Yeah, you know, uh, if you take Butler out and you only drop it a point, uh, a half a point, I'll take it all day. 16, uh, two sixteen and a half guys, I still like it. You know, uh, uh, like uh, Butler's going to bring 20, 21, if not more. Hot one night, he'll get 30. So, I still, I still, I definitely like the under even more with, with, with the Butler out. I think like uh, Santa earlier, he was going to play and still like the under. And then uh, now we hear that he's not going to play, and it only goes down uh, uh, half a point to, to a point. Yeah, definitely like the uh, under 216 guy. All right, uh, we got James here. Uh, it says go under uh, – and this one here, to go under total here, it's going to be 217 in most places. There's 216 and a half. Great to 
James here on 217. Uh, this one will have a start time here at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, uh, let's take a quick look over at Pick Dodge Freeman and James for tonight's action. Of course, on the board tonight, we have the four from the NBA. We'll also have the college basketball games up there as well, four from the minor tournaments. NIT, two NITs in action, NIT quarters, CBI semis that are up on the board right now. Of course, uh, James is enjoying a great year this year in the NBA, as we said before. We've heard this many times before from James. Uh, 2,400 units of profit here in the NBA. What do you have going on over at the site? Guys, I know we only got uh, four games in the NBA, and I, you know, I just gave you one, but I like to have three other games, guys. So I got a three pack in the NBA, three plays that I really like, guys. Coming off a three and zero sweep uh, last week, been real hot here lately, guys. And, you know, you can go check it out on Pick Dogs last ninety days, uh, thirty four hundred uh, uh, plus in the uh, units in the NBA. You know, the last uh, sixty thirty. Been real hot here lately in the NBA, and I'm gonna keep it rolling in the NBA. So you get that three pack, guys, or you know, upgrade to after we win tonight, go three and zero, upgrade to three seven or thirty day guys, or like I say, every time we're on a show, guys, we got the best cappers in the world, and we do it by far. So hit me up with uh, any capper you see on the show tonight or on the site, we'll put some money in your pockets. That's right, guys. Got a boat with James Cox over at Pick Dogs Premium. You see the great results here from James. $23.99 here uh, in the NBA. Uh, it's all documented, so you can go to the, the Handicapper page oh, and, to, and uh, check out his pick history for James. You'll be able to see every play that he's released here uh, over at uh, Pick Dogs. Of course, no better time to get the long-term passing or the one-month pass to cover remainder of the NBA regular season. Take you right into the play-in rounds and even the start of the playoffs here as we only have two and a half weeks remaining here of the regular season until we get in the play-in round and, and the playoffs. Also, college basketball covers the remainder of the of the college basketball tournaments. And, of course, don't forget the baseball. Baseball starts Thursday. It's coming right up here, guys. So uh, we're, cl- we're, we're finishing the, the spring today. And then, of course, they get the day off usually on Wednesday. And then here we go with the, the, the opening, U.S. opening day. Uh, so no better time to get on board with James Carp over at Pick Dodge. Remember, the long-term pass is the way to roll. All right, James, uh, uh, any other bonus you have for everybody today? Yeah, guys, I got uh, two player props that I really like tonight. And it's, you know, it's uh, two point guards. Uh, you know, I like Fox tonight to get over 27 and a half points. And uh, I also like Shane Gilgis Alexander also to get over 26 and a half points. You know, both of these are really good players. You know, it's actually uh, decent money. Uh, 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 Fox is like minus 105, and I think Shane Gilgis is like 108. So, you know, parlay both of them together and it's like i think it's a uh, plus 220 or 210 so i like both of those to get over their points tonight guys that's right guys here from james clark the extra plays here from james and you guys always like that all right james as always we're having a show have so great evening we'll catch up with you again later in the week all right Tony. appreciate you having me on the show buddy and uh i'll uh, see you one day this week you got James Clark here on the drive through. We'll continue here on our show. Uh, next up, we'll have a Tony Brown. Before we get to Tony Brown, just want to let you guys know our newest feature here on drive through is our chat pick of the day. You guys have been on fire. We were on the Pacers again yesterday. So here we go. Let's do it again. Only two losses so far in almost three weeks of doing this. So the chat has been on a tear here with a chat pick of the day. Tonight's chat pick of the day is the Lakers at Bucks. If you like Lakers plus nine and a half, it's A. If you like the Bucks minus nine and a half, it's B. If you like over 232, it's C. If you like under 232, it's D. So get those picks in there right now, guys. The chat has been on a tear here. As I said, almost uh, almost three weeks of doing this, you've only lost twice. The Pacers coming in again yesterday. So get that chat pick of the day in there. Lakers, A. Bucks, B. Over 232 is C. Under 232 is D. Remember, this is against the spread. So get these picks coming in. All right, we're already getting some in already. First one on the board is a B. Uh, so the Bucks is the first one coming in from the uh, chat today. A coming in as well. Uh, so get those uh, picks in right now. So we're split right now with the Lakers and the Bucks tonight, the TNT game. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. Tony Brown out in Las Vegas, Nevada will be next. Catch him over at Pick Dogs Prim. We'll bring uh, Tony Brown in right now. Ready to roll here. Coverage here from the Vegas. Pretty good game tonight here. Golden Knights and the Predators here. These are teams in contention. Uh, so we'll bring in Tony Brown here in just a second. We're ready to roll here. Oh, they went too far. We'll get him in here in just a second. Tony Brown. Tony Brown, what's happening? Tony T, what's going on with you? Everything's going great tonight. All right, here we go. It's a pretty good uh, matchup tonight here between Golden Knights and Predators. Predators, $1.39, total of six. 
Yeah, this is going to be a great game for both uh, fans and for handicappers. Like, uh, it has some of my favorite stats that I like to cap in this game. Uh, one of them being momentum. Uh, the Knights, we're fighting for our playoff life. I mean, we have the spot, but we only need three points to solidify it and, you know, get in there. We're only a couple games ahead of a few teams, and we're going down to the wire. So we've been playing some of our best hockey of the season again. We started off super hot and then just went into regression mode, and that's why we find ourselves in this position. But we know where we are, and uh, we won our last three games coming into this one. So I really like the Knights to uh, stay hot and get this uh, get this road win and get the points. However, we're playing a Predators team that's equally as hot. They're eight and uh, two in their last ten games, and both of the losses came in overtime. They're on a five game win streak, and they're at home for this one. But I think it's going to come down to heart as well. The Knights absolutely own the Predators. We're eight and two against them in the last ten games. Even more impressive, we won four of those six meetings right here on this ice. So home ice advantage has not been an advantage at all for the Predators in this series. And with it all on the line, getting the defending champions at plus money, and we need the game on a winning streak, too good to pass up, so we won't. Give me the Knights on the money line to steal one on the road. All right, Tony Brown here on the Knights here against the, uh, the hot team here in the in the Predators who have uh, come in here uh, winners of uh, five straight here and if it's their second game here on this road trip only got a goal only got a goal last time against the Red Wings but that held up here against the Red Wings team but also the Knights here coming in uh, putting up some W's as well you know yeah they, they did beat got they took care of business with Seattle Columbus but they went on the road and eked out that one goal win over at uh, St. Louis uh, and of course uh, this is going to be a bit of a road trip here this is the uh, game two of a four game trip and of course you know, right now, you know, Golden Knights in a playoff position in the wild card, but it just doesn't seem like these contenders really want to make a run. We saw issues with Calgary. We saw issues here with, with Minnesota. Uh, it looks safe right now. I mean, just like any other sport, man, like, you know, the games aren't played on paper, so we can't keep looking into these records, you know what I mean, L looking for our picks for the game. We got to look into how people are playing. We got to look into a lot of factors. And like you said, the Knights, we're safe, you know what I mean, because we're already in the spot. We're not fighting for a spot. And with the teams above us, you know, not playing so well, it seems like you get in there. But you never want to back into a playoff spot. That's how you get eliminated in the first round. And you never want to depend on other people. We need three points to solidify the spot for ourselves, no matter what anyone does. And the best way to get those points are to get W's. And then not to mention right now, it's like all the games were in playoff mode. So days off equal for me. This is for me personally. It, it equals rust more than rest. You know what I mean? When, you, when you're grinding and you're playing, we're coming off the second night of a back-to-back. -back and you know what I mean? We're just going to keep things going. We're hot. The Predators had two days off. And like I said, it's either rest or rust. And in situations like these, against a team that you have a hard time beating and stuff, it's going to look like rust. And the Knights are going to blitz them from the first period. All right, uh, Tony Brown here. Well, nice. I have to ask him here about the Lakers. Lakers have been playing well coming off this homestand. They've been home for quite a bit, right? They haven't left the state of California for some time, but now they do. This is the road trip everybody was talking about. I think we're looking at five or six game road trip opening up tonight at Milwaukee. Tomorrow in Memphis, we know uh, we know that James will sit this game tonight. Uh, Beverly will sit for Milwaukee. Uh, so uh, with no, well, with no uh, James, so with, with, why, 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 we don't need Beverly to play, I guess, for Milwaukee. But anyway, uh, your thoughts on this Laker team as they come off a pretty good homestand. I got to give them some credit. They got some cushion now. Of course, all all eyes here can they get from from they get from they move from number nine to number eight. Right. Um, and like I said, do we even want to do that? Um, I don't know. You know, what I mean, of course, you never want to shake up the dice with a play in game. But the way Golden State is playing right now, they might not even get that last spot. It might go to Houston. And I think we absolutely destroy a Golden State or Houston. And then again, when I said about playoff uh, hockey, I mean, regular season hockey, it's the same for playoff basketball. Right now, you want to play, you want to grind. So if we got a play-in game that we just won, and then we take on a, a one seed as the eight spot, and they've been sitting, watching, resting, waiting. And then these one seeds, no offense to these one seeds, but I'm not afraid. We're not playing Denver. We're not playing Sacramento. We're going to play Oklahoma or Minnesota in the first round if we get the eight seed. And 
You know what I mean? Again, I don't want to over talk or over jinx these things, but we got LeBron James, the, the, the number one scorer of all time in basketball, one of the best players arguably of all time. We got Anthony Davis. I'm not too worried about Shea Gilchrist Alexander in his first ever playoff series. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be too worried about Minnesota missing out with the big cat. You know what I mean? So I think the Lakers are in a great position. I think any position the Lakers get in the playoffs are, are, will be a great position. We're coming off a Western Conference Finals appearance, two years removed from a championship. LeBron. Well, let me correct you on one thing, Tony Brown. The Nuggets are the one seed. The Nuggets are the one seed. At this point? At this point, yep. Okay. Well, see, that's when I'll be worried because I yeah. said it last year and I said it again. I don't want to play Denver at any yeah. point, so I would be worried at that point. But I don't even know if they'll hold on to it. They they're got fighting a, for the one seed. They've got an easy. They, of, of, all the, of all the teams uh, that they're fighting for, they do have the easier schedule. That's really what it's going to come down to, strength of schedule. They uh, Oklahoma City has two games in hand. Uh, so OKC can with two wins. Uh, they got to win the two to, to finish, to, to get tied. But the Nuggets, two games in hand, 51-21. Thunder 41 and 21. The T was 49 and 22. It's still a tight race. It's still a tight four or three-way race for the number one seed. But uh, all indications show that the Nuggets have a little bit an easier schedule. But we'll see how it all plays out, right? I mean, it's it's are, are the Nuggets motivated it's not to get that on one paper, seed? paper, right? The yeah. games have to get played, and then even the Nuggets know because even playing us will be a revenge type of factor type of thing. Maybe they won't want the one seed. Maybe they'll want the two seed so they can play a lesser team. So we'll just see how it plays out. But at the end of the day, I'm never worried about having the best player on the planet on my team and worried about making a playoff run. There we go. It's Tony Brown thoughts here. As the Lakers make this road trip tonight in Milwaukee, a big underdog, of course, LeBron going to sit. And, of course, we got Tony Brown on record here with the uh, Golden Knights here, plus 124 against Predators. This one tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, Tony Brown, let's take a look over at Pick Dodge Green for tonight's action. Of course, we do have... Uh, NBA on the board tonight with the four game schedule. Also, uh, four minor tournament games here, but a lot big card here from the NHL. 12 game card from uh, uh, from uh, the NHL. Uh, Tony Brown, so what do you have going over at Pick Docs Premium? Yeah, tonight I got a three pack in the NHL. It was a 12 game card, but three of them are actually 10 star premium in my book, so I got all three of those together. And then I have three in the NBA. You can grab each individual pass and get a three pack from the NBA, or you can get a three pack from the NHL. It's only 35 bucks for all three picks, but I also have a, a super six pack. It doesn't matter if you like, you know what I mean, NBA or NHL, you just like making money. You get every single pick that I released today, all six games for only $75. So if you're serious about making some money, tonight's the night. Those passes are on sale like they always are. And uh, these picks are 10 star premium picks. The best picks that I have on the board, and they're absolutely all yours tonight if you want to grab them. That's right, guys. Got to vote with Tony Brown over at Pick Dogs. Premium uh, plays up there right now from Tony Brown. Remember, the individual plays are all credit guaranteed. They must turn a profit, and the amount you purchase is credit back to your account for side credits. That is credit guarantee. The long term pass will serve you well, of course, with baseball starting up. Tony Brown, you had that VIP one year service. I know we're going to get, get into the baseball season when it's just baseball, but that's for the better that's in action every day better that's in action every day or even if you want to hold it like maybe you don't play a lot of baseball but you don't want to pay per day per play or per sport because in the next 365 days everything's gonna pop up and this is what that is this is a full vip year pass it's not a football pass it's not a hockey pass it's every single sport that i release every single pick that i release the playoffs the championships too no upselling for a full 365 days to play it's only one low price. You pay one time, you're locked in for the full VIP year, and the uh, profit is just its crazy. If you're serious about making money betting sports, you can't afford not to grab that pass. That's right, guys. Got to go with Tony Brown over at Pick Dogs. Pay one year all sports pass. Remember the promo code PICK at checkout. Knock off nearly $300 off that price uh, at checkout. Save you that 15% off. Right, Tony Brown, as always, had great having the show. See you that success. We'll catch up with you again in a couple days. And, of course, uh, we got through the madness over. Now it starts to cool down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, we'll, you know how that goes. March Madness, they don't say that for a reason. And uh, the weather's getting a little better, so we'll see how it goes. Did you catch up with any of the guys out there? We saw Mitch out there. Kasi was out there. Chris, Jay, the cold yeah. was out there. Right. 
Yeah, the whole Pig Dogs crew is out here. Unfortunately, I got a lot going on right now, so I wasn't able to catch up with them, but I heard they had a great time, and, uh, you know, I keep in touch with everybody, so nobody had to call me for anything major, so it looks like everybody had a good time and made it home safe. Yeah, they had an extra wristband and a VIP. They're looking for Tony Brown. <laughs> right? The ah, VIP, man. VIP I, you know, party, Tony is, Brown. This VIP is literally party. the first time that I didn't catch up with them. You know, me and Mitch been hanging for about 10 years now. We always like to get together, go to Lay Thai and all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, life is life in right now. So I wasn't able to hang out too much. But uh, Vegas isn't going anywhere. I'm sure I'll see them again. Oh, let's try to see them again. All right, Tony Brown, have a great night. We'll catch up with you in a couple of days. All right, man. You guys have a good one. Tony Brown here on the drive through. All right, we'll continue here, guys. Let's get back to the chat pick of the day. It's going to be from the game that we're not covering on the show today. That's the uh, Lakers and the Bucks. And right now it is uh, the Bucks here five, the Lakers two. A lot of action here on the over. So let's do get to let you know what it is. Lakers at Bucks. If you like the Lakers plus nine and a half, it's A. If you like the Bucks minus nine and a half, it's B. Over two thirty two C, under two thirty two C. The pick, the uh, chat did it again with the winner yesterday with the Pacers. The chat is on an absolute run right now because only two losses over the two two and a half weeks that we've done this. So it's been uh, been a good run by the chat. We have a really good chat. These folks know what they're doing. So get these picks in here right now. We're seeing more picks coming from the guys right now. Uh, we're getting in, we're getting another another over here coming in. And I did did I see another one here on the Lakers? Yeah, the Lakers getting some love here on this on this on this run here. So so far it is uh, five on the Bucks, three on the Lakers, but five here on the over. See over the total here is getting a lot of uh, pick, uh, getting a lot of picks here. So this, we haven't had a total yet. Here on the show, of course, so we're not we're not counting money lines. So you're going to have to make your pick spread here. So that's what it is. All right, let's continue here on the drive through, and uh, we'll go up, up next. Uh, we, we do have uh, up next will be Shane Mickle. We'll catch him over at Pick Dog Stream. Get these get these picks coming in, guys. We just got another over, didn't we? Yep, another over right now is in front. The over 232 has the lead right now early on. All right, let's continue here. Let's bring in Shane Mickle. Catch him at Pig Dog Stream. Shane, what's happening? How's it going? I want whatever the Kool Aid Tony's sipping out there in LA because uh, <laughs> I don't really agree with his uh, his last few statements about the Lakers. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to yeah. It's hard to agree with some of that. I'm I would be massively concerned with the way they're playing. And and again, uh, yeah, the Nuggets to me, based on the schedule strength, it looks to me the Nuggets will be the one seed. And if that's the yeah, case, yeah, and then I, yeah, I th I think so too. And I mean Edwards says he wants to play every day but god they have to at least him a little rest before the playoffs and, and really i mean i don't i don't really know if it matters to be play one two or three of course it'll matter later rounds but that, that back end of the western conference i will give it is good um so i don't think it really matters that much but i mean you you saw a lot of trash with those timberwolves three and one against the lakers this season i'd, I'd be a little concerned I'd be a little concerned too, and and I always keep hearing, you know, of the Warriors the last like three or four games. Well, this is their must win. They got to win this game. They haven't done it, and that one against Minnesota. Oh well, Minnesota's locked in the three. I've heard that. I heard some conversation there. Minnesota got the job done there. Uh, the house of disappointment, I think, is sometimes you get it. In, you you marry yourself to a narrative, and sometimes it it, it sinks you down. Right. Uh, the one difference with this with this Timberwolves team is the defense they're playing. Yeah, I mean it's it's crazy. From the first year of Edwards, I mean, everyone's bought in Edwards Gobert. I mean, I remember last year when people were talking about Gobert and, and how crappy of a trade it was, and now people are saying what a steal it was to get Gobert and Mike Conley. So, yeah, the defense is impressive. We'll get Towns back now. Of course, I know they could lose the first round because that's how Minnesota operates. But uh, yeah, we're we're just gonna enjoy the run while it happens for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, uh, folks in the chat quite asking about Jimmy Butler. I have shown Jimmy Butler out officially. There, Jimmy Butler out with illness is the word here. So, uh, uh, Hawkeyes is still questionable in case uh, some people were asking about Jimmy is playing. No, he's not. All right, uh, let's get, and here's another good one tonight here, right? The Thunder and Pelicans. My goodness, this is their, this Western Conference. Uh, Pelicans are around the, around the four seed, so they've got a little to play for, try to get that home court in that first round of the playoffs. Thunder, again, it could be Pelicans, Clippers in that four or five, but it's still moving. We'll see. We've got Dallas, we got Phoenix. It's going gonna, it's gonna to move quite a bit here in this West. Thunder, a point on the road, total 223. Yeah, talking about teams I don't want the Timberwolves to face in the playoffs, I think the Pelicans are a team that gives the Timberwolves a, a ton of issues. Um, this is a team that two games ago against the Heat gave up only 83 points to them. Uh, their defense has been strong each of their last two games, and the South Thunder team only uh, really struggled last game against the Bucks. Now, I don't think the Thunder are going to struggle that bad as they did in that game against the Bucks with the offense, 
Um, but this Pelicans defense has been strong. And at home, um, just looking at the line, you're telling me that on a neutral on a neutral floor, you're giving me the Pelicans with four points. Um, with the Pelicans being at home, I, I don't really see all their underdog gear. I think their defense steps up again. Um, the Thunder's offense is going to struggle, and I think you have to take the, the home dog here. Uh, don't forget the Pelicans are eight and two over the last ten games. You know they're they're playing really really well. I'm at home. I just I don't see how you pass this up. All right, here we go uh, with Shane here on the Pelicans here plus the one against the Thunder. I think the one key injury here that may have some people concerned here is the fact that Brandon Ingram is out uh, this game. So it'll be McCollum and Zion here, and they're going to have to get scoring from another from another party here. But uh, can, maybe the defense can hold up without Ingram. No Ingram tonight here for for the for the Pelicans. Yeah, I mean that that hurts. But you know that um, Zion's playing like the player that you know everyone hoped when he came up the league. Maybe not as, maybe not up to that level yet. But I mean he's getting close. He, he's lost some weight. He looks like a guy who actually cares about basketball again. Um, and I think their offense is there. I mean CJ McCollum and Zion Williamson are great fallback pieces for a, a team that has their own big three. Yeah, uh, Gilgis Alexander, Holmgren, uh, even Dort, a pretty good scorer. Scorer there. Williams is showing well. So there's some. Uh, pretty good uh, production here from OKC. This will be a really good one tonight. Watch tonight. Do you have any premiums tonight on the CBI uh, semis or NIT quarters tonight? I do. I have a, I have a few on the um, NIT quarters. Um, I'm excited for both those games. The CBI. I mean, just watching those those games. Uh, some of those games have been hard to <laughs> handicap. But I, I stay the way. You never know exactly what team <laughs> what team is going to show up and. I mean, some of those offensive numbers, teams that haven't scored all season, all of a sudden are, are putting up all kinds of offense. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I usually stay away from the CBI, but the NIT, I do enjoy capping. Yeah. So, yeah, tonight in a NIT, of course, uh, Shane will be in action with premiums tonight. Of course, in the CBI uh, 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 semis, of course, this game, these games are played every day, right? Uh, except, except the Saturday, Sunday, right? That was interesting. And some teams had rest advantage yesterday. But. Uh, uh, of course, we got Arkansas State High Point. High Point coming off a blowout win. Uh, uh, Lane going to be laying two there. I think they believe they blew up Cleveland State. Uh, the Fairfield game is interesting to me. Fairfield, um, uh, one of these all offense, no defense teams. I think the WAC. I think I thought Seattle was probably the strongest team in that conference. I think the point spread is telling us that they're probably the strongest team in this tournament left. Yeah, I mean the big question is: Is can Fairfield make any any defensive stops? Um, yeah, that. Well, often, oftentimes, I mean, that Seattle team has been good for the last few years, um, with, especially with their with their offense. Uh, but, yeah, it's definitely going to come down to if uh, Fairfield has any interest in playing defense, which I've got an inkling suspicion if it's anything like the rest of the season, the answer is going to be no. Yeah, no, no. Uh, that one, of course, uh, tomorrow's uh, CIT final, Fort Wayne and uh, Norfolk. It looks like this one will be played on Norfolk's home court this is this is kind of a home home court series norfolk state was told they were number one seed although they didn't want them to tell anybody i don't know why but they are um and uh, fort wayne will be a point and a half on the road fort wayne had some close road wins but norfolk state has played only one game in this tournament and they go right to the finals yeah that's uh doesn't make a whole lot of a whole lot of sense <laughs> to me how the how the seating or how these teams even get into the in, into these type of tournaments, but well, and, and I think we were talking earlier. There's no TV for this game, um, which is even weirder. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't. I haven't really hang, hang yet that game yet, so I don't really have a strong, a, a strong suspicion or one way or the other. But um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure. I, I know it's be covered on Pickdown Sports Chat, but I don't think I'm oh, covering yeah. either of those. But but yeah, I'm sure there'll be a couple good good plays out there after the numbers are broken down. Yeah, but tomorrow, tomorrow's UN, tomorrow's uh, NIT quarterfinals will feature UNLV Seton Hall. Looks like Seton Hall is going to be laying four and a half at home. VCU on the road at Utah. Uh, Utah here is going to be laying some points here. It looks like Utah is going to be laying six and a half on that home court. You think that high elevation might aid them in that game, huh? Yeah, I mean, you saw what they did to Iowa um, with their offense. Uh, I think it can definitely help. But that UNLV game, I love UNLV. And that game, I know I've already handicapped that one. Um, I love you. Yeah, that, might, that might even be a premium pick for me. I haven't decided yet, but their offense has been strong coming into this game. I think Seton Hall's defense uh, defense struggles. I mean that 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 at most comes down to the final basket. Uh, four points, I think, is a a, ma- a major major gift, especially yeah. since you know they've already went on the road and won yeah. and won the NIT games, and and they've already knocked off the two seed. I mean, they know how to win on the road. And speaking of road, when you look at the, the and that was going to say about you know the road numbers have been really impressive this year for this UNLV team, and also playing through that tough amount West Conference. 
Yeah, I mean the Mountain West might not, not might not have performed in the tournament, but it, it doesn't it doesn't excuse or it doesn't you know take away from uh, you know what what a grind every one of those teams had to go through this season, especially with some very very tough road environments. You know, New Mexico tough road environment, Utah State tough road environment, Colorado State tough road environment. You know, a bunch of tough road environments that they they're gonna be t- they're gonna be ready to come on that Seton Hall, uh, Seton Hall uh, our game. That's right, the uh, true home game, and of course the, the semifinals are played at Hinkle <laughs> in the IT. It's not Vegas, it's not Madison Square Garden this year. <laughs> well, that's good. Then all the Indiana fans, the people who said that ba- only basketballs be played in Indiana, the Big Ten tournament, will be happy that they get the NIT uh, semifinals there. NIT semis and finals will be played there on the neutrals, but of course in the quarterfinals. This is the final home court, and it used to be a big deal in the quarterfinals because, oh, the winner goes to Madison Square Garden. We used to say that over and over again. Uh, and then last year, the winner goes to uh, Vegas. Now, all well, the winners go to Indiana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not as exciting, but I mean, I mean, all these teams have, have really impressed me. You know, there's there hasn't really been the opt outs. You know, with college, with college, I was I was kind of concerned about how that would work. You know, college football bowl games or people and players be opting out. Now they might transfer later, but. Uh, you know, people have played. They've they've cared about these games. I mean, Ohio State, New Mexico, or Ohio State, and Indiana State. There was there was a concern about after missing a tournament how they perform. Uh, they just continued to roll on. Especially that it's been fun to watch. Even the Gophers lost to them. The Indiana State home court advantage has been has been fun. That well, that fan base has gotten behind this team. And you know, it's funny you bring that about opting out. Maybe that's why some of these teams opted out of the NIT, especially with the NIL, NIL money. Uh, teams going to the NTA. Maybe the players will say, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna opt out. I'm gonna transfer. Uh, I don't want, I don't want my face on an NIT in an NIT because it's gonna hurt my, it's gonna hurt my image and licensing money." Yeah, I mean, it's a good point. I mean, especially with some of these teams, I've had, I've had some big opt outs. Um, it's an interesting point. It'll be interesting in the next few years if, if the NIT starts giving players money to uh, play in these tournaments, since it's not the NCAA tournament. You know, <laughs> are you gonna? Are you going to reward players for, for winning games? I mean, it'll be an interesting wrinkle that definitely could be coming down the next few years. Yeah, it just seems to me the only tournaments that will probably attract players or uh, teams are like the CBI, where it's kind of the lower mid-majors. Anybody, you know, mid or even the, 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 the power conference teams just want nothing to do with this tournament anymore. That's why I think we might see an expansion in 96. That's how I see it. So. Yeah. Well, and again, that's, those CBIs, um, the tournament, that's a good – you know, with with the way recruiting is now in the open market, I mean that's good. That's one good last chance to uh, to put on a show and try to to try to uh, um, you know improve your stock. Yeah. This team, is, I mean, the way NCAA tournament is or the, the you know the NCAA is now, these mid major teams are just uh, you know, they're just um, what do you want to call them? minor leagues? Like South Dakota State lost their two best players yeah. uh, in the transfer portal. That's all they are. They're minor league teams. They try to show up for a year or two, and then they're going to the big boys. Yeah, that's how it rolls. And see, you have a pretty good format. You just stay in Daytona Beach for four days if you keep. You know, that's not bad. That's not a bad. That's not bad. And, they, and and that's why you see it. Uh, not have they don't have problems getting player teams up there. Pelicans here plus one against the Thunder tonight, eight p.m. Eastern time. All right, Shane. Let's take a look over at Pick Document for tonight's action. Of course, we do have on the board four on the ice. We got those minor tournaments. Of course, Shane already told us he'll be in action in these two NIT quarterfinals. Uh, Twelve games on the ice as well. What do you have going on over at Pick Docs Premium? Yeah, I've got four plays tonight, three of them in a package. Uh, two best college basketball plays. My best NBA play, those college basketball plays, of course, are the NIT, both NIT games. Um, best NBA play, thirty nine ninety nine. dollars hop on long term. Uh, March is when I make my money. You know, Thursday we got a, the Sweet 16 and then followed up by the Elite Eight, Final Four, um, and the National Championship game at baseball only a couple days away. So no better time to hop on that 7 or 30 day pass. We'll make some money together. That's right, guys. Get on board with Shane Mickle over at Pick Dodge Premium. No better time to get on board that long-term pass. Uh, that seven-day pass will get you through the NCAA tournament all the way until we get to the Final Four. We're going to whittle this tournament down from 16 to 4 teams. Also get five days of baseball. Remember, baseball is just two days away. Uh, uh, of course, so, so you can get on board with Shane there. Remainder of these minor tournament action as well. Uh, we've got, of course, the, the uh, CBI, the NIT corner, quarters today and tomorrow. Uh, as well as uh, action on the ice and, of course, uh, baseball as well. All right, Shane, as always, great having you show. Just want to, I know you're out in the Minnesota area. You keep an eye on those Twins. What's your thoughts here as they're breaking camp here, getting ready to play for real with the Minnesota Twins? Yeah, I wish they would, I wish they would have spent a little more this off season, but all the reports are Byron Buxton is healthy. I mean, we got Royce Lewis. We got pitching. Um, it should be it should be a fun season, but it probably, it probably won't see it comes down to a Byron Buxton enough and 
Um, you know, that's about a 40-60 chance. So I'm excited, though. I'm excited for baseball to be back. I think the Twins, are, if nothing else, will at least be competitive. It should be a fun summer in Minnesota. Yeah, we got to see how the how the division you know plays out, right? There's a lot of question marks up there with Cleveland. Uh, the management, the manager change there. Detroit is always hopeful, but you know they got were hit with injuries and in their pitching staff took a big blow again in the off season. Uh, Kansas City is always at the bottom. You know, there's a there's, you know that division can be won, right? Yeah, I mean it really can be. Um, it won't it won't surprise me. I mean I I don't know people aren't are low on this Kansas City team. I think they're be more competitive. I think they need to spend a little more money if they want to be actually competitive. Um, but you know, I think they I think they can finish third in the league this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really is a crapshoot. Who's going to win win this division? Um, I mean, if the Twins want to win the division, they're going to have to beat up on the Tigers and Kansas City, though. I mean, that's how they're going to win the division. White Sox are in play. I was also a team you know, that's had their struggles. Cleveland again it was uh, management change there. We'll see how that plays out uh, there. So. Uh, of course, that's that's keep an eye on. Who, really, whoever dominates that division usually wins the, wins that division. <laughs> that's really when it comes. Yeah, down. definitely. Yeah, yeah, because you see, we're not doing too well outside the division, <laughs> especially well. when we have to play the the ALE, ALE. So yeah, whoever, whoever wins the division in the division, they are going to come on top. Yeah, because it's usually the, the the division winner there is usually has the worst record of all of everybody <laughs> out of out of that out of yep. that league. It usually happens. All right, yep. all right, Shane. Have yourself a great afternoon, evening, and we'll catch up with you again a couple of days. All right, sounds good. See everyone on Thursday. Yeah, there's Shane Mickle here on the drive through Catch his written work over at Pick Dots and Sports Chat Place with his written work there. All right, let's continue here on the drive through Up next, oh, before we get, to, uh, before we get there, well, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the chat pick of the day. And we want to keep you guys updated on what's happening. We had some, we've had some changes here over the past few minutes here as uh, I wanted to make sure that maybe we can get, we're seeing some uh, more more uh, votes coming in. And I want to give you guys an update. Chat pick of the day here, Lakers and Bucks. If you like the Lakers plus nine and a half, it's A. Bucks laying the nine and a half is B. Over two thirty two C. Under two thirty two is going to be letter D. And right now we see the uh, Bucks barely holding on here at five. But the top leader right now is over the total. Over the total was seven right now. So far that is the chat pick uh, over the total. So uh, we'll see how that rolls here. So uh, we've got some. We got a few votes here on the Lakers. So it's getting close here. Uh, five on the Bucks, four on the Lakers, seven on over the total, two on under the total. So keep those votes coming in. The chat pick of the day has been on absolute fire, guys. Uh, I can tell you right now, only two losses over the two, two and a half weeks that we've been doing this. Yesterday, another winner here with the Pacers, so keep keep them coming. We just got another one coming in for the Lakers. So right now, five on the Lakers, five on the Bucks, seven on over the total. Uh, and a lot of the, uh, we just got another one here on the Bucks, so uh, keep those coming in as well jay under the weather he's not here today guys a lot of guys under the weather uh unable to come make the show so uh sorry about that but we'll keep it rolling here but get those picks in the chat pick of the day the lakers and the bucks as i said the buck the chat room has been on a tear here uh winning with their winning selections here on the chat pick of the day all right let's continue here on the drive through let's bring in ron zawacki catch him at pick dogs room ron what's happening i do watch tony um lighter card so uh Took it easy, took the dogs for a walk, and definitely been studying uh, the Sweet 16 going forward. So I've already put it in a few plays. Just um, so have to get them up for sale, put them in the package. We've got, what, five in already that I love? So uh, wow. definitely, nice. and, and as we've been sitting here, uh, a couple more I think i got to go in. So Beautiful. All right. So right. Big round. You got, you got it. Right now, you got to use your time wisely because you know what happens on Thursday. No, oh, I know. My favorite comes <laughs> back. Uh, yeah. the, the MLB is back in action. Yeah. So, uh yeah, I've already been looking at that, Tony. You know I've had my oh, look yeah. on the MLB. As much as I don't like the MLB, you know, I've been putting the homework in. You've got it. <laughs> this is just too many hundreds of two games, a lot of teams. And, and, you don't and put the, it in and, now, and you're in trouble later. And the funny thing about it is we put we put in more picks on baseball than any other sport. We do, right? <laughs> it's just it's it's funny. Out of the sport that, that, that we probably don't love the most, we put the most picks in on it. So it's like... <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 it's not that I don't like baseball. It's just it's it's, it's dirty tricks committee. It's it's a long game, man. It's a long game. And, yeah. uh, don't get too high on yourself when the team is up. Uh, yeah, look at seven nothing. It's the third inning. There's six more innings to go. Yeah. You know, yeah. Teams up seven nothing, and all of a sudden, 
What do you and mean it, we lost that game? And, 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 the, and the wrinkle in it is, again, pitching load management, right? We, we're on a pitch count. We go oh. five minutes. The bullpens, the bullpens decide most of these games now in <laughs> the situation there. Uh, so situational hitting, situational pitching. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it can get a little, it can get a little frustrating at times, and uh, you know it's and of course the call ups that come in too long, and all of a sudden he's given yeah you leave a pitcher in too long, and next thing you know he's giving up eight runs on you, and you're like oh why why didn't you pull him sooner serious well we have to give him a little work yeah and then you got these <laughs> pitchers with, with five run. with ERAs of five and the minors come in and you know <laughs> start to show the oh. stardom you know those are the oh. ones that right <laughs> right no oh, I know here it comes. <laughs> so what's Manoa going to look like? I knew it was going to be. I knew the ball was coming when we seen that first game, and the and the ball went right through the webbing of the glove. Oh, right, goodness, yeah. You're like he's going to get, he's going to make the play, and it goes right through the webbing oh, of the glove. And goodness. I'm like, that sounds up baseball in, in yeah. a baseball, right? That's that. It'll, it'll drive it'll <laughs> drive me nuts. It'll drive me nuts. And uh, oh. Here, here we go to I like college hoops. People are like yeah. college hoops, betting on college hoops. People are like, that'll break you. I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. Try, oh. try, try. <laughs> well, 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 what will drive me nuts the, is, is the late the late minute free throw shooting. That's what that's what drives me nuts. Oh. Or, and and the low and the yeah, low I, and the low IQ on the court. The players with the low IQ. <laughs> that that the IQ that they don't know how to play the game, don't know how to play the situation, you know. I realized over time, I, th- I thought the coaches were overcoaching, but over time, I know why they overcoach. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because sometimes you have to. Because <laughs> some players, they get into that panic mode. You can yeah. see it. They're like deers in a headlight. They're like, oh, oh no, what do I do? See, what do and, I do? Ah! And, and, that, and that's what I say. And that's what I say. What makes it tricky handicapping the NCAA mm-hmm. tournament is because of the stage frights a lot of these players have in this, in, in this, on the stage. Oh, it's a big spotlight, right? Everybody's watching. I'm like the, uh, the, the, the PFW tomorrow that uh, nobody will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> on Spartan Vision. Spartan. Everybody's watching. It's games. on Spartan Vision tomorrow. If you, if you subscribe to Norfolk State's uh, streaming, it's on. It's the home court rights. The home court rights is that one. So if you if ESPN Plus televised your games, they have the right to the finals. But no one, uh, no one televises that MIAC. So it's Spartan Vision tomorrow for the CIT final. So that's there you go with that one. All right. Maybe you can find a ticket for eight bucks. <laughs> Maybe you can get eight bucks in the CIT final tomorrow. There you go. All right. We go on the ice tonight, and I've seen this one move up a bit here on the for the dog here. So Kraken and Ducks. Kraken now up to two hundred seven total five and a half. Yeah, and you look at this matchup here. We got. Uh... The Ducks and the Kraken, that's not the, the, the sexiest matchup going on the ice, that's for sure. There's some definitely some better games, but for some reason, this one caught my eye, and I like this one. You look, both teams not playing the greatest. Both teams, two wins in their last ten games, and and, and you look, Decord, Decord had a great start to his season, but not lately. You know, over his last, what, 17 starts, he's got four wins, ten losses, a um, couple good went to overtime. And he's got a 907 save percentage, uh, definitely down from when he started this season. Uh, Gibson should be back for uh, the Ducks in here. He was out for a little bit of an extended break, but he's back. It's not confirmed that he's back yet, but I'm quite sure that he's going to be the one starting for the Ducks. And, and you look at this, both these teams have struggled. They've struggled to light the lamp, so an under might not be a bad play here. But Seattle losers of, uh, was it, eight straight hockey games? And... and it hasn't been pretty. They haven't scored more than two. They've got one goal, one goal, one goal, two goals, one goal, one goal. Haven't scored more than two goals in six games. And you got to win hockey games? At least I know the Ducks have scored more than uh, two goals in a game. They just beat Chicago 4 nothing. I-, I know it's Chicago, but at least you can score some goals. If you can't, if you can't score more than two goals, you're not going to win a hockey game. And, and then you want to be uh, laying a, a, at that minus 207 price with the team. They haven't scored more than two goals in a game. As I, as I said in the video, I started laughing. I was like, no chance. You know, I want to be laying it with the Kraken. I know the Kraken have dominated the Ducks. Winners of four straight. Not tonight. Yeah, take the Ducks in this nice plus price that they're uh, handed out. I don't know why everybody's uh, drinking the purple Kool-Aid with the uh, the Kraken here, but uh, take the Ducks. All right, Rod says go ahead. Kraken haven't good at all. Take the, the Ducks here at plus 164. As he said, if you look at the Kraken, it's just goal, just one goal, one goal, one goal. And it's been tough for them. Uh, this again against Montreal, you can only push one across. Against Arizona, you can only push one across. I understand one Vegas, uh, Buffalo isn't the Buffalo of old, but you know, those two teams you can't score. That's 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 the red flag there. Yeah, big time. You got one against Arizona, 
one against Montreal. You let Montreal score five on you. <laughs> Oof. How many can the Ducks score on you? I, I, I got the Ducks scoring uh, at least four in this one. And, and the Kraken just can't keep up. Yeah. No way. So you're going to give me this nice plus price? Thank you. Take the Ducks in this one. And the, the, the losing streak now at eight, maybe go to nine for this uh, Kraken team. that is just, And it's been a lot of these games have been at home. That's the problem. Is there some attendance issues over there? I heard someone mention that. I don't. I don't know if that's the case. Or yeah, not. big time. Is that, oh, yeah, wow. big time on empty. It's kind of like San Jose. They're having oh. uh, back to attendance. It, it, you got to look. They went from uh, being way up here, where they uh, won a first round playoff last season, to uh, this season, where they expected you, you expect improvement from last season. Well, kind of fell off the uh, edge and, and, and didn't. You had some goalie issues, and um, it, it just it, it, the, the the trades you made. In and out your team. You know when you when you play when you play in a rainy climate, and it's raining and your and the team sucks, the fans think, well, let's don't drive out in the rain. <laughs> well, the fans are now looking at the, the the Mariners are starting up on Thursday, so they're like, yeah, the Mariners are back. I bet you that's a little more busy at the ballpark than it will be in the rink. I think be. that might be the case. All right, a rod here, ducks here, plus the one. It's 164 about an hour ago. Now it's up to 184. So you got a better value now on this one against the, the Kraken tonight, 10 Eastern time. All right, Rod, let's take a look over at Pick Dog Print for nice action. Big 12 game card on the ice tonight. Also, action here. Uh, from the NBA with a couple on the board. Also, uh, we've got uh, the, the the minor tournaments in action. The the, the uh, CBI semifinals and the and the uh, NIT quarterfinals in action. Raj showing great results in college hoops. What do you have going on over at Pick Dogs Premium? And over at Pick Dogs Premium tonight, I've got uh, three plays on the ice and an NHL birdcage. You can scoop that up by itself. I also have uh, a tackle of the book Tuesday. I've got two other plays in the NBA. On one of those uh, plays in the NBA is my 10-star play of the day. I've hit four straight 10-star play of the days. You can pick it up singly, or it's in the uh, Tackle the Book Tuesday where you get the NHL birdcage. Two plays, including the 10-star play of the day. Or, as uh, everybody said before me, now's the time to uh, grab a week pass. Join me for the week. You'll get uh, all everything I got going today. You'll get uh, all the Sweet 16 action and um, all the NBA, all the hockey. Definitely uh, jump aboard. Let's continue to uh, crush the March Madness, um, nice 25 and uh, 14 start to the, the the first two rounds. So uh, let's continue with it there. It's not crushing the books. That's right, guys. Yeah, we're with Rod Zawacki over at Pick Dog Room. Great results in college hoop. No better time now to get on board. Remember that seven-day pass gets your remainder of the of the uh, Sweet 16 and Elite Eight. A 30-day pass, the remainder of the NCAA tournament, and all that baseball, all the hockey, all the NBA. Remember, this 30-day pass will take you into the NHL playoffs as well as the NBA playoffs. All right, Rod, any of the bonus for everybody tonight? Yeah, you look at this. I like Detroit in the Central. Take Detroit in, in the MLB. I like Detroit to come out of the Central this season. I think they're. Uh, you see what they did last year? They've had some. They've got some pitchers that can do it, and I think they had some injuries. I think this is the season that Detroit turns the corner and wins the Central. Tonight's games, we're going to go with uh, Seth Jarvis of the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. I think he scores a sub uh, at any time goal for us. He scored uh, in the last. Uh, four of the last five games for Carolina. He's always on the power play. I think Seth Jarvis gets a, a, an anytime goal in that one. And then uh, I like High Point here tonight. Um, in in speaking of those uh, college basketball games against uh, Arkansas State, you look at High Point. Um, they're the better free throw shooting team, hitting at uh, 78% on, on the free throws, and then rebounding. They are the by far better rebounding team than Arkansas State. They're going to dominate on the glass dominate this game lay the two and a half with high point they win this one tonight over Arkansas State there you go from Rod Zawacki there are you in action in the NIT at all in the uh, in the uh, premium side no I got nothing on nothing uh, no college hoops tonight for me no so, college uh, hoops. I thought I thought nine was a little high there against Georgia with Ohio State against Georgia I thought that that kind of looked a little high to me I look at it and go, it is a little high, but you look at Ohio State, uh, they've played a little tougher schedule than what uh, Georgia has. And then Georgia's been uh, on the road. They look, that's a, that's a high. It, 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 I was on Georgia on the weekend, if you look, yeah. and they yeah. upset uh, Wake Forest in, yeah. in, in that one. But I think this is it. I think that's the end of the road for Mike White. Uh, I think Mike White and company, Bye bye. Uh, I like Ohio State. I think I like Ohio State big. I think they double digit them uh, here tonight. I think Ohio State's just bigger, better, better, and stronger. And I know that Georgia has been hanging around. You look, they're ten and one ATS on the road. Yeah. But I think this is where uh, push comes to shove, 
and um, Ohio State's just a better team. They, they played such a tougher uh, schedule than uh, what Georgia Georgia had to play. And I think this is it just – Robert Mr. Rowe, that's it. Give me uh, – lay it. I, 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 on, on the morning show, in the comments, I left. Ohio State minus 9.5, plus 105. Uh, I took the extended line. I think they win by double digits. But we're well, Georgia there. in that one. There's been a big move on this game, Cincinnati and Indiana State. Indiana State was three for most of the last night. Now we've seen now up to five and a half in most places against Cincinnati. And, and the, the scary part there is I think Cincinnati can uh, out-rebound Indiana State. But when it comes down to the end, that's Cincinnati uh, free throw shooting at uh, 68%. Oof. That's the part that scares me. That's the only thing there is uh, is Cincinnati. Cincinnati needs to be in the lead in that one. They don't want to be uh, having to uh, rely on, on the close game late. Because we've seen their free throw shooting. It's not good. 68%? That'll get you in trouble. Um, the Sycamores are way more, way more, way way better from the, the, the charity of the stripe, and I can see why that line's moved up. If they're up by a couple points late, and um, Cincinnati has to play that foul game, well, uh-huh, they're in trouble. You know, They're Fairfield can sick. shoot, but can't sick. defend a lick. We'll yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, that's, right? that's, that's, that's a that's exactly. a, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> seven now in it's, places now. That's, that's been a big move there. Seven in places now, right? It's, yeah, it's, for Seattle. Seattle balanced both offense yeah, and defense. I, they don't shoot the ball extremely well, but that well, conference, you know, they've got some teams in there. You know, Grand Canyon. Uh, and I seen that game yesterday. Baptist. Yeah, I, I would lay it with Seattle. I think yeah. Seattle wins by double digits as well. Fairfield, sure, they don't play a lick of defense. And then their free throw shooting yesterday, they should have won that game by uh, six, seven, eight points yesterday. Mm. Uh, when it came down to the end, they had three opportunities there to uh, – and they kept missing the first free throw. They, they missed the first free throw, lose the rebound. They could have lost that game outright easily, but uh, Chicago State couldn't hit a lick of a three throw either. Uh, in that, at the end of that game yesterday, it was I was like, wow, what a, <laughs> oh, what yeah. a slop. Yeah, Brian, Brian Bittler was sweating it on his segment because he had the points with Chicago State, so he was really sweating. Was... <laughs> and every time Chicago State would foul and, Fair, and 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 Fairfield went to the line, like I said, at least three, four times they could have got two there, and they just they got nothing, two, nothing, nothing. So they just they let Chicago State hang around and more uh, than Fairfield should have drained their free throws, and that would have been buried in that one. But, yeah. I wish the this Cougars covered. The Cougars covered. The Cougars covered this dogs in the in that tournament. So, Chicago State. <laughs> they did. They covered. They, did. Right? <laughs> they covered. They they, yep. they have a big turnaround this year. All right, Rod. Let everybody, machines. let everybody know about your video series. Of course, uh, we've got that big card in the NHL. Still time to check out those videos here, guys, because uh, there's a 12 game card from the NHL as well as a parlay up there. Yeah, definitely like, subscribe. Make sure you're not you got that notification bell on that way you get notified when uh, those videos drop. Definitely go check it out. We crushed the last uh, parlay video, so uh, go check out tonight's as we're gonna make it back to back with that one over there. So uh, definitely check out those. Got you all covered. Any game you're looking for on the ice, check out the archive. It's there. Only two tomorrow, but uh, those will be released soon as well. So right. definitely uh, jump aboard the hockey. Jump aboard indeed. All right, Rod. Have a great night. We'll catch up with you again here on uh, the show tomorrow. You as well, Tony. Have yourself a good one, everybody. Crush it. Tackle the Book Tuesday. That's right. Tackle the Book Tuesday. Catch you guys, uh, catch you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. Absolutely. Rod Zawacki here on the drive too. Let's continue on here. Guys, before we get to my pick, let's go back to the chat pick of the day. Uh, chat pick of the day is Lakers and Bucks. If you like the Lakers plus nine and a half, it's A. Bucks minus nine and a half, it's B. Over 232C, under 232D. Right now, we are getting more Bucks love coming in here. Two more on the Bucks, and we're up to seven on the Bucks, five on the Lakers, but seven on the over. So we have a tie right now between the over and on the Bucks, and of course we need to break that tie. So let's make sure we get those. We get those um, chat pick of the day. If you already made a pick on the chat pick of the day, we'll ask you now is go ahead and get your best bet for the show into the into the chat. Uh, so if you've already voted on the on the chat pick of the day, let's get your best bets, and we'll read them off here at the end. Let's get to my pick here, and then we'll let you roll here, uh, and then we'll get to the recap. Actually, we should do the recap first. Let's do the recap first. All right, here tonight, James was on Heat Warriors under 218. Tony Brown, Golden Knights, plus 124 against Predators. Shane was on Pelicans, plus one against Thunder. Rod was on Ducks, plus now 184 here against Kraken. I'll take the Mavs. I don't know if it's two and a half anymore. I saw that number come down to one and a half, so let me see where this is at here. Uh, yeah, it's one and a half, so that means positive news here on um, – Doncic, right? Because he was on the injury report, and let me refresh it because uh, we may see. He may let me let me see the word on Luca here because uh, I like I, I didn't know 
questionable here. Uh, but he's dealing with Achilles issue ahead of the second of back to back. It's unlikely it'll be X ex Exum here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick here with this um, um, uh, Mavericks team here uh, at plus one and a half. Now that was my that was my pick is going to be here on uh, the Mavericks plus two and a half in this one, and really it comes down to the fact like, you can't grade me on one half. It's not on um, two and a half. It's now one half. So I don't hear I don't see anything on Luca, but the line move has to tell me somebody knows something about Luca because it doesn't make sense to me that that line would go from two and a half to one and a half. And uh, uh, that's the one that I like tonight here. Matt, but the Kings have been terrible in back-to-back -back spots. Their defense at home has not been good. Uh, we know that. We've known that for two years now with this uh, Sacramento team. They can't D up at home. Uh, uh, Kings 4-8 in back-to-backs. Mavericks 8-3 in the spread in back-to-backs. Uh, Sacramento home is 23rd in defensive efficiency. They're giving up nearly 49% shooting here. And the, the, net, the, the uh, Mavericks, over their past five games, they have really tightened their defense uh, with a, and uh, and they're also in the better shooting form, so it'll be Mavericks, especially now. With this line move, makes me feel better about it because uh, I was kind of shocked to see the news on Luca. But uh, from two and a half down to one and a half um, tells me that there, there may be some positive news coming on Luca, but we just don't know about it yet because <laughs> it was two and a half earlier and in, in about an hour ago. All right, guys, uh, we're getting the picks here from everybody here. It's now is the last chance. You guys over at Pick Last Room, I got the best bet on the board right now, so go ahead and get signed up with my best bet. Also, my long-term pass, my 3 7 or 30 all sports pass. Get all my premium plays for that time period. Just like when you go to my handicapper page, make that purchase. Remember the promo code PICK at checkout. You'll save the 15% off. multi capital promotion available as well. Even better value now. All right, guys, let's. we are ready to wrap up this uh, this chat pick of the day right now. Right now, it's a tie between the Bucks. And the over, we Lakers just got another one in there. So Lakers have six. So we're going to let you know here when I, uh, we, we're going to close it in a second here. We got to get uh, the chat pick done because right now we have a tie uh, right now between the Bucks and over the total. So we need somebody here to, to go in here and break this tie. And uh, we, when we break the tie, we'll let you know here as we'll have to go into the next segment. I'll have to go to my close and then we'll wrap it up there. So again, chat pick of the day. Last chance to get in. We, we're, we are tied here. Um, and uh, let me see. Right, we, got, we are still tied. So if you haven't voted yet, it's Lakers. A is 9.5. Bucks. B is laying the 9.5. Over 232 is C. Under 232 is D. Go ahead and make those votes right now, guys. We got the Lakers. And you've just... Okay, we got another B and another A coming in. Uh, so we will close it up here. The chat pick of the day here, going once, going twice. It is now closed. It will be on the Bucks. The Bucks minus nine and a half is the chat pick of the day. All right, that's going to do it for now. Get your best bets in there, guys. That'll do it for this edition here, the drive through guys. Be sure to tune in tomorrow live here at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring in our cappers from Pick Dogs Sports Chat Place, and we'll give you your plays here in real time. Remember to always get started with that morning show. We are live here at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time during the week. With We got Jay. We got Chris. We also have... Um, Mitch up there. Remember the video series, Mitch's Seven Picks in Five Minutes, Bane Tool Show, Roundtable Discussion with Professionals, Jay's NBA Jam Session, Chris around the league from the NHL. We also have Rod Zawacki, A to Z NHL, pick from every game on the NHL, plus the parlay. And of course, um, we have uh, more and more video series coming up as we speak here. Uh, you can find uh, Kossi's uh, Sharp Training Plays, Big Al McMorty Al Access, uh, Contrarian Plays here from Brian Biller, uh, Bankshot Breakdown, College Hoops from our man, uh, uh, Ron Romanelli, boxing video series here from Wayne Scott. Contrarian, as we said, with Brian Biller. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, set those notifications. So when we drop these videos, you get them in real time. All right, let's get your best bets here right now in the chat. So put them in right now, your best bets for tonight's game. We have Blake coming in with Seattle, laying the seven against Fairfield. Blake on the Mavericks, also plus one and a half. What else do we have coming in? So get those best bets in right now, guys. Uh, let's see who we got. Chris White Thunder. His best bet of the show is the Capitals here at minus 125 from Chris White Thunder. Uh, David Kleiner like D'Lo here over 7.5 assist. Uh, Mr. Jones. Parlay Ohio State minus 9.5 with Carl Avs minus 1.5. That's his money making Tuesday for Mr. Jones 509. That is his play up there also. Likes the Bucks all day, Mr. Jones, 509, liking that play. Rangers, puck line from Nicholas Handy. Cain's first period from Nicholas Handy as well. Panthers, for first period, Nicholas Handy. Lots of great content coming in here, guys. Red Wings here from BZ Hill. Uh, Jay was out sick today. Got the Vegas flu. 
Uh, what else we've got here? Let's see. Any more best bets? This is a Thunder money line here from Nestor Navas. Thunder money line is his best bet tonight. All right, guys. Last call for those best bets. We are we closed the chat pick of the day. It, it is the Bucks minus nine and a half is the winner today, and uh, Georgia plus nine and a half from Dennis Ciro says that. Also, Max coming Heat and Mavs money line in there from Max. And uh, what else we have? We got it all. All right, that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks for everyone's contribution tonight. We'll go ahead and bring our cappers in from tonight's show.